Hi, today I'm going to do my American Beauty Haul. So, as you might know if you've been reading my blog, I'm in New York at the moment with Birchbox. Or well, by the time you watch this video, I'll be back. But I've been here for about four days and I've just had the best time. And obviously, one of my favourite things to do when I'm here is shop for beauty because there are loads of products that you can't get in the UK that you can get here. And that's my main mission when I'm here not to just buy stuff that looks nice, but to buy stuff that I can't get at home. And there are loads, and I've had loads of recommendations. So, I've gone a bit crazy in the drugstore and in Sephora but I've picked up some nice things, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So first up is CVS. I think all you American people are gonna think it's hilarious that we get excited by drugstores. We literally, like, me, Anna and Patricia jumped in a cab. We were like, Dwayne Reed, please. <laughs> the guy was like, okay, why are you so excited? But we love American drugstores. So first of all, magazines. American magazines are just so much better than UK ones. So I picked up two, especially beauty magazines. We don't really do beauty magazines at home, so I picked up the new Allure magazine because I don't have my iPad with me and I wanted to read the new one on the plane. And then I saw this, the Beauty Authority new beauty magazine, and this is huge, chunky, all about beauty. Oh, just heaven, I'm gonna read that on the flight home. Then, beauty-wise, I picked up a few bits. First of all, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sun Cream SPF 55. Um, Anna recommended this. It's a really nice non-greasy SPF. It's SPF 55, which is the highest one that I own now, I think. And I love SPF for my face. I like trying different ones and seeing how they work under makeup. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I haven't tried any of these things yet, by the way, so this isn't a review. If you want to see proper reviews, I'm going to be talking about them all on my blog over the next like month. So. I'll put the link to my blog below. I then went to Milani. Um, Amelia from Liana Beauty is a big fan of Milani, so I wanted to look at what they had. And this is a really pretty blush highlight. It's got a nice rose imprint with about three different shades. Um, I like these ones where you can just swish the brush around and get like a nice all over pinky glowy colour. And this is called 03 Beauty's Touch Illuminating Face Powder. Um, I have a Milani blush and it's a really nice texture, so I think this will be similar to that. I also saw the Maybelline Baby Lips Neon, I think they're called. But yeah, I think it's like the neon colours. And this one is O Orange, which is a bright orange. I haven't tried this yet. Anna's phone is going sorry, off in the background. Sorry, sorry. What a disaster. <laughs> this is the shade O Orange. So it's meant to be like a neon orange, but I have a feeling it's going to be kind of sheer because it is a lip balm. I can't imagine it being like really pigmented, but I'm going to try it. I didn't know where to get this one or the purple one, but it looked really purple, so I went for the orange. And then the last thing from CVS is a L'Oreal Infallible um, Eyeshadow. Amelia, again, is a big fan of these, and this is the shade Amber Rush, which you can't get at home, so I wanted to get it, and it's a nice burnt orangey brown colour. These are just really pigmented, like loose, no they're not loose, they're like pressed eyeshadow and you can pack them on and get a really intense, amazing shimmery eye. So I really like these and it's a shade you can't get at home. Okay so next is Dwayne Reed, which I think we preferred Dwayne Reed. There was a little part called the Look Boutique, or the Look Beauty, I can't remember, and it's just really nicely laid out and really smart so if you're in New York go and on the hunt for one of those because it was really nice and the first thing I ran for is this it's the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product and I've seen Fleur and a couple of other people talk about this and it's like a leave-in detangler one of those all-in-one it says it repairs dry damaged hair adds shine detangles controls frizz there's like 10 things it's supposed to do um, and it seems really nice I wanted to try it I was a bit shocked at the price though, it was about $35 and I really ummed and ahed over it for a while. In the end, obviously, shopping with two girls, they were like, go for it. <laughs> so I bought it in the end and then I went to CVS and saw they had like a travel version for $10 less, so I was a bit like, damn. But I am looking forward to trying this. If it works, then it's definitely worth the money because you know me and the whole hair thing. So the next thing I bought was such a cliche product, but the wet and wild comfort zone palette and this is one of those cult makeup products that all the american youtubers talk about it's got two four six eight eyeshadows and they're kind of browny neutrally greeny tones which is right up my street and wet and wild is really affordable so i wanted to give it a go they also write on the shadows like where you're supposed to put them brow bone eyelid crease so i think that's really helpful and i'm looking forward to trying the last thing i got from Dwayne reed is this Almay. I've never actually heard of this brand, but Anna saw this and she was like, they look right up the street and I think one of her subscribers had said these are really good. So it's an Almay, um, it hasn't got a name on it, I think it's like a lip cream. This one says Apple a Day. 
It's like a bright red lip creamy lip lacquer kind of thing. I don't know, as I said, I haven't tried it, but cute packaging and I like red lips, so I got that as well. Finally, I saved the best for last. It's Sephora, my favorite shop ever. We used to have this in the UK and there was one right by my house and it went before it even got good, but we went straight to Sephora. We went into about four actually, so <laughs> we went a bit crazy. First thing I got was this. It's from um, Alterna, which is a hair brand, and this is their bamboo range. And this is the anti-breakage thermal protectant spray. And my hairdresser uses this on me. You can get it in the UK, but I never really see it in stores and I always forget to buy it online. So I just saw this and thought, I'll get it. I really like this range. I also got the Josie Moran, I think that's how you say it, I'm never really sure, 100% um, pure argan oil light. And this is the one by the counter. I love that section by the counter where they have all the travel sizes. I always go straight there. And this is meant to be really good. I actually tried this last night. We had a little pamper session in Anna's room and we went through her skincare and we used this and it's so nice. It does go on like really oily, but it's nice to use at night and when you wake up, my skin felt amazing today, especially after the long haul flights. It was really dry. So this is nice and I like the travel size. I've got quite a few oils, so I didn't want to get the big one. I also picked up from the bit by the till, the Josie Moran Bare Naked Nail Wipes. These are kind of cuticle nail treatment and nail polish remover all in one. Now I tried this last night on my nails. I have glitter on my nails at the moment, so I thought I'd give them a go and they didn't budge the glitter at all. Like it didn't even <laughs> make a difference. So I'm not sure if it's just this glitter. I'm gonna try out on normal polish and see how they do, but these maybe aren't so good. We also went to Tarte because we don't get Tarte at home and there was actually a really nice girl called Victoria who worked for Tarte and read both mine and Anna's blog so it's lovely to meet her and Hi, talk Victoria. to her. Hi. <laughs> um, so I picked up um, an Amazonian 12 hour clay blush. I have I think three of these already at home but this colour I've always had my eye on and I've never picked up before and it's natural beauty. It's a bright reddy pink. It's kind of like Mac Frankly Scarlet, which is why I wanted to try it, because I really like this color when you sort of dust it on really lightly. It's a natural flush color. So very much looking forward to trying that, and I think it will definitely kind of suit my complexion. What else from Sephora? This is gonna be a long video. I'm nearly finished. Um, Makeup Forever, much harder to get in the UK. So um, I picked up an Aqua Shadow, in 22E, I asked my mum to get this for me from America and she came back with a blue cream eyeshadow in a pot. So that was a bit of a fail. So I got this and it's like a rusty brownie cream eyeshadow pencil and Anna actually picked this up as well. We were like opposite ends of the store. We have such similar tastes. I also got one of the Aqua Eye liners because I really like the brown one in 2L. So I got 23L, which is a nice light champagne colour and I thought that would be nice in the inner corner and slightly underneath. And actually Patricia bought this and she tried it and it looked amazing. So looking forward to giving that a go. I also spotted the Marc Jacobs counter and I think you can get this in London now, but I haven't seen it yet. And I picked up one of the nail polishes. This one is Delphine, I think that's how you say it. And it kind of reminds me of Chanel, um, Oh, I can't open it. It's sellotape. <laughs> Did you do this? Well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really hard to open. All right, just demolish the packaging. Okay, this it reminds me of Chanel. What was that colour that I searched for? Particulier. Particulier. Yes, that's the colour. Um, very similar. And also Essie. Um, Merino cool. Merino cool. I'm glad I have my little assistant in the background. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I really like those kind of nail polishes. I'm not sure about the whole Make Mark Jacobs thing. I didn't really, the eyeshadows look nice, but I didn't really like the packaging, so I didn't go for that. Two more things from Sephora, and then one little extra and I'm done. The next thing is a Makeup Forever full cover concealer. I've heard so much about this for years, and I've never had any interest in buying it because without sounding like arrogant, I don't really get spots that badly, and this isn't really an under eye concealer. But, lucky me, I've had awful skin whilst I've been in New York, just from all the flying, and I haven't had my proper skincare routine with me, so I thought I'd give, pick it up to have a go. I bought it in six, um, Anna also got six, and we have very similar skin tones. It's slightly too yellow for me, um, but it's amazing. It's full cover without being cakey, it's really moisturising, and I like to just dab it on with my finger and then blend out the edges with a brush if I need to. It's probably just because the colour that I need to do that but this is really nice. I'm really looking forward to trying that and I might go to Sephora today and see if I can get another shade that's a bit 
close to my match. Another Sephora trip. Yeah. <laughs> so the final thing, this isn't from Sephora, but we went to, if you've seen my vlogs, I'll link them all below, we went to the Cordelie Spa and had a little mini treatment and they use this on us, it's the grape water, it's like a spray and I haven't seen this at home, um, I don't know if I saw it in France but we definitely didn't see this at home so I got one of these, it's really nice, it smells like fresh and there's all like clever science about where it comes from but I can't remember right now but it felt really nice on so that's obviously a lot of stuff but hopefully I'm going to be able to blog about all of these and make videos and give you some good reviews so hopefully you like seeing what I picked up don't forget to check out my vlogs from New York, I did three and Patricia and Anna are in them and we had such a fun time so I'm going to link those all below and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in my next video, bye!